Hello class. In uh, this video we are going to briefly go over Photoshop filters. Uh, in other videos, especially in Illustrator, we looked at filters and you can do lots of things. I can't explain every one of them, but they can really make your look, your, your look of your layers take on all sorts of different different looks and it really depends on what you're trying to achieve so again go back to that precedence what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to focus on my material layer again although you can really focus on any of the layers and apply different things to different different layers and apply multiple effects to try to get what you're looking for so I'm going to go to my materials layer and again I like to duplicate layers all the time so I can always go back to the original if I don't like what I want and you're going to go to filters not unlike uh, in Illustrator. Now we have some filters here that we might look at in a little bit, but really most of the filters for, for just changing the look of a layer are going to be under Filter Gallery. If you come under Filter Gallery, you'll know, again in this class, we've done Illustrator first. So these are almost identical to what is happening in Illustrator. There's some slight differences, but you see a lot of the same names, and so you click on something, you can see it changes the look of that layer, um, and you can select what you want. I think um, just to sort of be bold about it, I'm going to select ink outlines there and we can see what it's doing. It's reading it and sort of putting lines like you sort of inked the drawing. So it's going to make it look a, a bit more sketchy in this case. Again, it might not be the effect you want, but I think it'll be striking enough to sort of see. So I can turn it on and I actually have this under, I did some uh, color burn in the last one once I had some tr transparency on. So, so I put that there I can, and if I move this to the top layer, we can see it sort of over overcomes that and I can take the, if it's too strong I can take the transparency down and it, you can see I've just sort of affected the, the way it looks to sort of really control this so I could switch layers around and, and put that back on top of it. it has a slightly different look and I can adjust it to, to the way I want and I can do more things to any of these layers that I want. I can uh, like add more filter to them. I can copy the materials layer again and apply a filter on that and change the transparency separately to apply a different effect. And really by using multiple layers and by using multiple different f filters or color burns and, and all these sorts of things, I can change uh, the look of this to be as sketchy or as not sketchy as I want. And, and, and different tools will allow me to do different different styles. And of course once I settle on a building which is my primary focus, what I should really do, although I'm not in this video, is I should take those tricks and, and make sure my trees and my people sort of match that style of drawing I'm doing. And even my background might want to match the style that I'm doing. And I can go into Illustrator and pull in things if I want to do it that way um, um, to, to help as well. But really get this thing with these filters and with your sort of limit there's sort of limitless possibilities by using filters in Photoshop and I, I sort of expect uh, just play around with it and experience um, over time will get you a feel for what works well. So good luck with those filters. I know it's a lot but have fun with them.